Okay, when you come by a dock in Staten Island, you've got your pick of all the lawn chairs you can handle. Yes, sir. <laughs> For $29.99, you can have every dock chair you'd like. Here's one to the right. There's one here. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. And if you order now, and I mean right now. Right now. You can get the price of two chairs for all the price of one. All right, guys, I wanted to do this video for a while now. I've been using active imaging for a year, and it's absolutely nuts crazy, okay? It's just uh, done things that I've never seen any side scan do. I've used them all, even different brands. And I want to make this video and show you what this is doing. It's not just, you know, clearer, better resolution. It is that as well. But it's able to do things that no other side scan has done. Right here in this first shot, check this out. I know no one's ever seen this before. Giant haze across the screen that's all yearling threadfin shad. Every one of these dots you see by the red arrow is some kind of game fish predator. It is a striped bass, it's a crappie, it's white bass, largemouth bass. And these threadfin are just avoiding them just enough. And look how it's spread out across the entire screen. Now I've had screenshots before where I've caught stuff like this, but it's you know one in isolated shot here or there. I've never had a football field look like this before, all at one shot. Really crazy. I've seen it quite a few times since I took this shot. But let's move on. There are so many cool things with this, I want to get to them all. Definitely want to stay with this one. All right, I wanted to show you this. All this haze you see in here are threadfin shad. The solid yellow dots are game fish. You can actually see how the bait is staying away from those game fish. Look at that. See the white mark? And the blackness around it let's scroll back a little bit look at that i don't think i've ever seen that with the regular side scan transducers even in the 3d transducer all right and this one you're going to see what i love the best about side scan here with active imaging it's the ability to pick up targets far from the boat that aren't just on the bottom or aren't just showing the shadows here you could actually see the striped bass far from the boat and they're off the bottom look at that <laughs> that far from the boat 40 50 60 feet and still have the actual target show not just the shadow i have never seen this before and it's definitely my favorite feature of this machine way off to the right look at that you can see in the left you see all those white marks or those yellow marks with the shadows with them man that's crazy that is just nuts Get out there next time with your side scan, and if you see marks like this, tell me if they're that far from the boat, or is it just the shadows? You won't see something like this with any other side scan. Ah, man, it's crazy. I love it. Definitely my favorite feature of it. All right, let's double down on that for a second. Upper right corner, striped bass, five, six, seven of them. I'm seeing the target and the shadow. Now, these fish were probably close to the bottom, definitely not sitting on it because the shadows aren't right on top of them. They're probably two, three feet off the bottom, slack tied target and shadows just look at that right there far from the boat check your side scan like i said if you're seeing fish far from the boat that like that that are suspended stay with what you got but i know you're not seeing that you're seeing shadows maybe out there but the targets with the shadows far from the boat while suspended unbeatable really really love it there it is pretty fish it's a long fish Ooh, nice one there you go Good one, bro. Good one. Good job. It's old school. See ya. Love you. Love you. Mean it. Mean it. All right, here we go. Let's see the active imaging against another type of side scan, top of the line. You're seeing where my finger is right there. We're seeing all the returns and the shadows on the right side of the boat. On this screen, we're seeing the shadows only and no returns. And that's common. Most of the side scans I've seen, even the Lorance and the Simrads, they lose the targets when they're far from the boat if they're not on the bottom now on the bottom you catch them any suspension off the bottom and all and, and you lose them but not with active imaging look at that there's the shadows but no returns at all here we got both both sides we have shadows and the returns all right this is a good one man it's hard to argue with this look at the range up there versus the range on the bottom don't need to say a whole lot on this one. We have both units set at the same range, 160 foot to each side. You see the massive fallout on the top unit, the black bars on the right and left of the screen. That's just where the transducer can't see anymore. It's made landfall on the bottom edge of the beam. 
and it stops looking that way. Now the active imaging, I don't know how they did it. I, don't, I, I know there's multiple elements that it ships through. I just don't know the technicalities of it. But you can see the range up top. Look at that. There's black bars. That's terrible. That's no man's land. And on the bottom, we still see. I mean, we're really not even getting the black bars yet. We could even set the range further. Incredible stuff, man. Absolutely incredible. I mean, this is what we, we ran these two machines like this for hours. And uh, the active imaging was just mind-blowing all day. Great stuff. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. I love you guys. Mean it. Please subscribe. Stay safe out there. Leave a few for me. Well, you can see out here on these uh, barges all where the tires were, right? All the tires. And we know where the tires are. So when they put the new tires on, we know where the, oh the, my God. We know where the old ones go. <laughs> but if you look here, you can see all these returns. Look at all those fish. I don't know how we're not hooking up right now. And up here, they're there, but they're a little harder to see against the black background because the background is not as black. Shadows are clear. Fish on. Fish on. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Let her do her thing. Mark is a Navy veteran. Electronics, right? Best I, way to do it, right? I, I don't know any other better way to do it. While you got fish on. <laughs> get out there, get nasty, get sloppy. That's it. Good Mark, got, a good, he's got a good fish. Max, holding, holding steady, Max. Ooh, taking line. <laughs> there you go. There we go. She's jumping. Fish, he's on top. There you go. Keep it tight. Mark, Mark's actually a heck of a fisherman. He started fishing together. We were eight years old. He just had to fish at the duck pond. At the duck pond. We named every fish out, fish out in that pond, right, Mark? We caught and named every fish out there. Don't have to lead him. Yeah, we got. Max on the fish as Good usual. Job, there we go. Job, All right, not bad for the. Good job, bro. Wait a, wait a... Oh, <laughs> he just got her too. <laughs> there you go. Nice job, Mark. Okay, it's, it's a fish. We're off the yeah. We're We're off the send it back. Send it back. Throw it back. Yeah. Throw it right. back, buddy. Nice and easy. Good boy. Good job, brother. First fish you must afford. There we go. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Good job, Mark. <laughs>